Hey, Anto. What's going on? What's going hey. on? Guys, we're going on vacation. Y'all know that. And uh, Nana's going to be here with these kids. But we're going to put a lock on our door. Let me hold her head. Before y'all be trying to say something. And guess what? We're putting a lock on our door. So, let's go. Yeah. Uh oh What you doing? Fixed up, yes. Like, in my room, yo. Yes, I see you, Layla. Babe, you're doing a good job. You think so? I mean, yeah, you're doing. But no, even taking that off, you're doing a phenomenal job, baby. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love the fact that I can depend on you. That I can ask you to do stuff and you get it done. No, I'm. I'm so serious. Thank you so much, baby. I really appreciate that, honey. I'm always dropping these jewels. You know, when you live as long as I live, no, I'm just joking. Listen, when you experience life, I experienced life from an early age. And I just thank God. I didn't think it was necessary for the things I had to go through. But I thank God for the things I've gone through because it truly has built my character. It's given me some wisdom on life. Needlessly to say, God is good, okay? God is all the way good, all the way good, you guys. So gracious to God. But I definitely wanted to touch on something that's probably not necessary, but I will touch on. People who are saying, like, why do I dress like this? I am in the comfort of my home. I can wear a sports bra, <laughs> jogging pants, yoga pants, whatever you would like to call it. I can wear those things because I'm in the comfort of my home. And if I choose to wear this outside, I'm in the comfort of my own skin. My husband is, is, is okay with that. I think that sometimes people get it twisted between having a religion, a, you know, and then being spiritual. Baby, I'm not religious at all, okay? I am spiritual. I have a spiritual relationship with the creator of the entire world. I am not religious. I don't do things and wear dresses down to my ankles and cover up my hair. I don't do things because of religion, okay? God loves me with a sports bra on and he loves me with yoga pants. God loves me if I choose to wear a dress down to my ankles and cover up my feet and my hair. He loves me either way. It does not matter what I have on. Do you understand me? But yes, I do understand being modest and things of that nature, but I don't have to do it in the, in the, in the nature of religion, okay? Or being religious, okay? But I hope I just bless somebody with that. If not, I bless myself bless with that. <laughs> Listen, y'all better get you one of these. Y'all better go get y'all one of these. A husband or a donut? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what's that? A chicken salad. <laughs> Y'all better get y'all one of these. Listen, this man, you be doing the baby. They say you are like a supernatural. Like, are you even human? Like, yeah. so you love your wife. You love just one wife. You you have seven children that you love, I'm and you have dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you come home every day. They want to know it. Like, can you let them know? I might have to do a Q and A just for you. <laughs> Baby, what you thinking? Like, they do you come home every night? Are you at the same time? The same time? <laughs> Something is up with this man. <laughs> like, you are real. Let them know. She trained him to look in the spirit of God. You better start praying for folks. People get so like, oh, I'm leaving. You better start praying for people. Even if you decide, like, yeah, you're going to pack your stuff and get ready to leave, you better be praying. God will stop you right there in your in your tracks. Watch, right? Shoot. Miss out on a blessing. Listen, that's a whole word right there. I want to just, I want to, I want to, I want to hang my hat. How, how the pastors be saying, how bitches say, I want to hang my hat on this, on this Don't message right on. here. Listen, sometimes in life, okay, because it, this affected me as well. Don't allow the spirit of frustration, okay? Listen to me. Don't allow the spirit of frustration to distract you from your blessing, okay? Let me, let me put it to you like this. Don't allow the spirit of frustration, okay, to... What am I trying to say here? Don't allow the spirit of frustration... Dictate your future. 
to dictate your future. But it's, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's like don't allow the spirit of frustration to rob you from your breakthrough. Don't allow that spirit of frustration, okay? The enemy used to frustrate me. He still do sometimes. But the enemy used to frustrate the the uh, the uh out of me, okay? Listen. It was a test. I know it was a whole test, okay? Lisa, but I used to allow that spirit of frustration, the way he walked, the way he talked, the way he do this, the way he do that. I used to just get frustrated, and I almost missed out on my blessing. I almost walked right away from my blessing. Don't allow that spirit of frustration to have that much power over you that you miss out on your blessing. You did that. I did that. Is it all done? Done. Oh my goodness. I be doing what I do. Yo, I'm about to come out with a little mixtape, y'all. Oh my goodness. And Twizzy. Do the key work. Where the key for the door? Up there. Let me see if it works. Do it work? Let me oh, see if it works. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, KK. Yeah.